Welcome back to the Simply YouTube channel. My name's Craig and I'm the training manager. Today I'll show you how to simulate reality in 3ds Max Design. So we're not using the normal animation methods. We're going to use a function called MassFX, which will create the animation for us. Off we go. I'm going to start off with a very simple box that I've got here. This is going to be my base and things will drop onto the box and react accordingly. So I just need to draw some things. So using the auto grid so that I make sure that it will actually draw directly on top of the box. I'll draw a box, a sphere, a cylinder, a torus, and a tube. Press escape to get out of my creation method. Now in my front view here, I'm just going to select the objects that I created and move them up a little bit. So obviously what will happen now is they will react with gravity and drop onto the box and bounce around depending on what materials they're made about they're made up of so what you will notice here i have got my mass fx toolbar turned on if you haven't got that turned on simply right click in any of the gray areas there turn on your mass fx toolbar so i've got my box selected on my ground plane um, you can go back and you can increase the size of that if you need to. But what I'm going to do is make this into a static body. So in your Mass Effects toolbar, you've got three different selection methods. So I'm going to create this as a static rigid body. So that means that's going to stay as it is and things will react to it. These objects here though, we're going to make something else but just to add a little bit more into this animation here i'm just going to do a few rotates on the individual items so they all don't react the same way So, as the, the ground plane there was a static body, these things here need to be dynamic bodies. So I'm just going to select those and turn them into dynamic rigid bodies there. So once you've done that, if you select an item individually, in your panel bar there, you'll notice you get a mass FX rigid body. So you can go and tell this what it's actually made up from so we're right at the top and you get your presets there so there are some inbuilt ones you can create new presets as well if you want different materials little tip get your material properties from inventor if you're going to do that so i'm going to make that out of cardboard this out of concrete that out of limestone and that uh, out of steel. We'll make the sphere out of rubber though. So if I now press play on my Mass FX toolbar, you will get the effect of the items bouncing onto the ground plane. Obviously, as well, if I change this to what it's made of you'll get a different effect as well so I'm going to make that out of concrete and press play Let's rewind that press play and everything's bounced around there now what we may want to do is change the material so I'm going to change the torus there to not be out of cardboard make it out of rubber 
and we'll see what happens now. Press play, and obviously you can see it bounces around now. Now, as you can see, you've got a lot of information you get in your, in your control panel here. So, if I come right down to advanced here, you can tell it to have some initial velocity and initial spin. So I'm going to just put a little bit of direction on there, a little bit of speed, and rewind that and see what happens. I don't know where you noticed there, see that jumped around? So it sort of jumped forward when it was doing. If I make the speed a bit more on there, make that a bit bigger, make the direction a bit bigger as well, rewind that. As you can see, it jumps around quite a bit now. Okay, so maybe it's a bit too much on there. Reduce that a bit. Rewind that. Press play. Great, that's exactly what I want. Now, if I rewind that now, what you normally do if you create animations inside of 3D Studio Max is you'd press play on the animation bar down there. Once once I do that, you will see that nothing actually happens. The animation that the Mass FX has created does not appear in the timeline until you bake the objects together. So I can quite happily, if I want to draw something else, so I'll draw a pyramid here. I can quite happily use my normal animation methods. So I'll turn my auto key on, move across to frame 100, and we'll move that over there. Turn the auto key off, rewind it, press play. So the pyramid's going to move now, but none of these objects will. So as I said, we need to bake the objects to do that. So what that does is transfers the animation from the mass effects into your normal 3ds max timeline so to do this go into animation on the top there go into mass effects simulation and bake all the objects so what that will do that will copy all the information through to the timeline so when I press play now, the animation will create like that. Just put that on normal speed, align that, and play. So, what can we do with this? As you can see in this scene that I've got here, I've got a very simple road, full focus, and a little ramp that it's going to jump over. So, basically, using exactly the same functionality I did before, I've set the road to be static, this to be static, but this to be dynamic. Now, if I just select my focus there, and we go and have a look at the modify, what I've done is very similar to what I did before is I put some speed on it and the direction going the right way. So if I press play now, the car will go and jump over the ramp there. So I'll just rewind that, show you again. So the car is going to come up, jump over there. As I said, exactly as before, if we need to. Um, if we need to bake those, or if we want to do that in the timeline, we need to bake that object. So again, go into animation, mass effects, simulation, and bake all the objects. It'll go through, put all the objects into the timeline. So when I press play, we get the same objects moving along with the timeline. So we can use a normal animation to add more detail into the scene. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed that.
Don't forget, you can bring your models into 3ds Max Design directly from Inventor. Use that to help you create the reality animation there. Please follow us on Twitter. You'll find lots of information about our courses and special offers. So our address is at Symmetry Training. You can always contact us through email, and that's training at symmetry.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.